friends and welcome to my channel Knitting Kitty. October just has started and I'm sure many of you are already searching for some funny Halloween ideas. Here in Bulgaria Halloween is not a traditional holiday but kids just love it mostly because of all the candies they got. So this year I've decided to crochet this funny candy bag. It looks like a Frankenstein hat and is really easy to make. The back is approximately 21 cm long and 17 cm wide. I've used medium yarn weight in green and black and 4 mm crochet hook. Now let's see the rest of the materials we will need. To crochet the back I'm going to use medium yarn weight. The brand is Yarn Art Jeans Plus. This is the first time I'm going to use this yarn. It recommends using 5mm crochet hook but I prefer making tight stitches especially when it comes to crochet a back. So I'm going to use 4mm crochet hook. Start with the green color yarn and use 4mm crochet hook. Chain 26 chain stitches. For round 2 crochet 5 single crochet in the second stitch away from the hook. Then continue crocheting single crochet in the next 23 stitches. Next crochet 5 single crochet in the next stitch. Then continue crocheting single crochet in the next 23 stitches. At the end you will have 56 stitches in total. Round 3. Start crocheting one single crochet in the first stitch. Then in the next one crochet three single crochet. Then in the next again crochet only one single crochet and then 
crochet in the next stitch three single crochet continue crocheting single crochet in the following 25 stitches After these 25 stitches, in the next stitch crochet 3 single crochet. Then in the next one crochet only one single crochet. Then again in the next crochet 3 single crochet. Then crochet single crochet in the next 24 stitches. At the end you will have 64 stitches in total. Using a darning needle hide the initial tail. You can use the initial tail also to close the small gap at the beginning. My initial tail was too short so in this case I've just cut a small piece of yarn and use it to close the gap. Next crochet single crochet in the first three stitches and then make a slip stitch in the next one. At this point starts round 4. Chain 2. Then crochet half double crochet in each stitch till the end of the round. with a slip stitch on top of the first half double crochet. You should have 64 half double crochet in total. Now from round 5 to round 24 chain 2 and then crochet half double crochet in each stitch of the previous round. Ready with the green part. Now change to black cower yarn. Again is medium yarn weight 
and use 4 mm crochet hook. For the next round, we will alternate single crochet and spike stitches. The spike stitch is like the single crochet stitch, but is crocheted one or two rounds below the current round. We will have small and large spike stitches. Alternate the single crochet and the spike stitch all over the next round. This way we will crochet our Frankenstein here. Chain 1, then crochet one single crochet in the first stitch, then crochet a spike stitch in the next one. Continue crocheting normal single crochet stitches and spike stitches till the end of the round. It's not necessary to follow a strict order while crocheting the two type of stitches. with a slip stitch on top of the first single crochet. From round 26 to round 28, chain 2, then crochet a half double crochet in each stitch of the previous round. Finish with a slip stitch. Finally, using a darning needle, hide the yarn tail. Next, we are going to crochet the nose. Again, use green cower yarn. The yarn weight is medium and 4 mm crochet hook. Make a magic ring and crochet 6 single crochet into it. For round 2, crochet an increase in each stitch of the previous round. For the next round, do not make more increases, crochet single crochet in each stitch of the previous round. Finish with a slip stitch and leave a long tail for sewing. step is to crochet the ears. Again use the same green cower yarn and 4 mm crochet hook. 
Make a magic ring and crochet six single crochet into it. For the next round, crochet an increase in each stitch of the previous round. For round 3, make one single crochet in the first stitch, then in the next one make an increase. One single crochet, then make an increase. Repeat till the end of the round until you have 18 stitches. For the next round, crochet single crochet in every stitch of the previous round. For round 5, crochet, single crochet in the first 4 stitches, then make a decrease. Repeat, for single crochet, then make a decrease. Repeat till the end of the round until we have 15 stitches. Round 6. Crochet single crochet in the first 3 stitches and then make a decrease. Repeat 3 single crochet then make a decrease. Repeat these steps till the end of the round until you have 12 stitches. Finish with a slip stitch and leave a long tail for sewing. Now it's time for the eyes. This time use white color yarn, but the yarn weight is fine or sport and the size of the crochet hook is 2.5 mm. Start with a magic ring and crochet 6 single crochet into it. For round 2, crochet an increase in each stitch of the previous round. For round 3, make one single crochet in the first stitch, then in the next one make an increase. One single crochet, then make an increase. Repeat till the end of the round until you have 18 stitches. For round 4, crochet single crochet in the first 2 stitches, 
then make an increase. Repeat to single crochet, then make an increase. Repeat till the end of the round until you have 24 stitches. For round 5, make a slip stitch in the first stitch, then chain 1, then crochet single crochet in the next 3 stitches and then make an increase in the next stitch. Repeat 3 single crochet then make an increase in the next stitch. Finish with single crochet in the last 3 stitches. Make a slip stitch on top of the first single crochet and leave a long tail for sewing. You will have 28 stitches in total. To finish the eyes, I've cut two circles using black felt. Each circle has a diameter of 15 mm. Then using black thread and sewing needle, I've sewn the black circles at the bottom of each one of the white eye patches. If you prefer, you can use also 15 mm black safety eyes. Finally, let's crochet a large eyebrow for our Frankenstein. Use black cowl yarn, the yarn weight is fine or sport and 2.5 mm crochet hook. As the black cowl is really difficult to see, for the tutorial I am using blue cowl yarn so you can see the stitches better. Start crocheting 31 chain stitches. For the second row, make a slip stitch in the second chain stitch away from the hook. Then crochet single crochet in the next two stitches. Then make half double crochet in the next two stitches. Then crochet double crochet in the next two stitches. And then make two double crochet in the next stitch. Continue crocheting, double crochet in the next two stitches, half double crochet in the next two stitches, single crochet in the next two stitches and one slip stitch in the next stitch. Now 
you have to repeat the same steps. Slip stitch in the next stitch, then single crochet in the next two stitch, half double crochet in the next two stitch, double crochet in the next two stitches and two double crochet in the next stitch. To finish crochet, double crochet in the next two stitches, half double crochet in the next two stitches, single crochet in the next two stitches. Finish with a slip stitch and leave a long tail for sewing. Using a darning needle, hide the initial yarn tail. Now let's sew all the parts together. Before you start sewing, I recommend you arrange all the parts and see how it looks. To tell the exact position of each part when sewing them to the back, I will count not from round 1, but from the round 4. This is the first round with half double crochet. First, sew the eyes to the back. The eyes go between round 9 and round 13. Next step is to sew the nose just below the eyes. Stuff a little bit the nose before sewing. Now let's sew the eyebrow. Position it one round above the eyes. You can sew it in a different way and change the face expression of Frankenstein make him looking angry, sad or happy. I will go with the happy face. Next, we are going to sew the ears to the back. Attach them between round 10 and round 13. Use 
heels, thinner black yarn and embroider the smile. Cut two small pieces of white felt for the teeth. Using white thread and sewing needle, sew them below the smile. Again, use thinner black yarn and embroider some stitches on Frankenstein forehead. Finally, let's crochet a handle for our back. Use black cowl yarn, medium yarn weight and 4 mm crochet hook. Chain 71 chain stitches. Then crochet half double crochet in the second stitch away from the hook. Continue crocheting half double crochet in each stitch of the chain. For row 3 Chain 2 and turn, crochet half double crochet in each stitch of the previous row. Finish with a slip stitch and leave a long tail for sewing. Sew the handle on both sides of the back. Our Frankenstein Halloween bag is ready. If you have enjoyed my tutorial, please subscribe to my channel. See you soon!